Hello, my little mathematicians. Um, today, I'm going to get you started on how to do Pizzazz Worksheet D54. Okay? The first thing we want to work on is how do you find the area versus the perimeter of a parallelogram? Notice that all of these are parallelograms because it has this side. These two sides are parallel to each other. And these two sides are parallel to each other. So whenever you have two pair of opposite sides that are both congruent and parallel to each other, you have what is known as a parallelogram. One of the most helpful things is to look for that little box that you see right here, that indicator that this is a 90 degree angle. That 90 degree angle connects your height to your base. So I'm going to use that when finding the area. So right here, here's a box that connects this height to this base. It connects this height to this base. Okay, now some of you are noticing that oof, it doesn't tell me what this base is right here, but this is the same as this one. So there's my base and my height for the area. Okay, I'm going to let you try those on your own, but let's take a look at number six. Look at that little box and that connects your height to your base. Okay, and my actual base length is only from here to here because notice that this isn't actually part of the figure. But when it says the height, it wants the perpendicular height, the one that comes at a right angle. In regards to the perimeter of a figure, that's along the outside edge. Okay, so that's where you're going to do all along the outside. So I'm not taking into account that four, it's just along the outside. Okay, same with here. When I'm finding the perimeter of this figure, what would I ignore? The 15. Okay, and then let's skip down to six. Here's the actual figure. Because when you see dotted or dashed lines, that's not actually a part of the figure. This is outside of it just to tell you the perpendicular height. The actual figure is right here, the solid dark bowl lines. So that's what we'd actually find the perimeter of. Now in terms of showing our work, remember this is just where we're gonna provide our answers. We always wanna show our work on a separate sheet of paper. So let's first of all do a heading. This is D54 possess. Okay. Number one. Okay, in order to find the perimeter, you add along the outside. So that would be the five, the eight. What's this? Same as this, and they're five. And then this one, which is also eight. So five, right there, plus that eight, plus this five plus this eight. Okay, now just go ahead and combine all those. Five and eight makes 13. And this five and eight also makes 13. Add those together and you get my perimeter is 26. My units were inches, so I'm gonna put inches for my perimeter. Now, some of you guys noticed that while it's two times the length plus two times the width when you're dealing with the parallelogram, that's fine. Okay, you could have done it that way too. As long as you ended with 26 inches for the perimeter, we're happy. Now let's focus on the area. The area is base times height. Okay. So again, I wrote out my formula right here to start with, and then the base in this instance Look for that little box. Sometimes it helps if I highlight it. And that connects this line, so the base of 8, to my height, which my height is 4. So now you just simplify 8 times 4 is 32. And for area, my units are always inches squared. Okay. Now remember, I show my work on a separate sheet of paper like I did just here. So now I'd move on to number 2. And I solve number two right here. But 
how I write my answer on my sheet, maybe I would write just the perimeter as 26 inches and my area is 32 inches squared. But all my work is either in my journal on a journal or on a separate sheet of paper. And then down at the bottom right here, okay, I'm gonna find where it says 26 inches. And I'm gonna go ahead and cross that off. And then I'm also gonna find 32 inches squared right here. And I'm gonna cross this off. Now I'm not gonna write anything here until after I'm done with all the other problems. Once you finish all the other problems, then you write down the remaining letters. So again, I'm not gonna start writing anything in these boxes until after I've solved all the problems on the sheet. And then whatever ones are left, that'll answer my riddle at the bottom. Okay, so now hopefully you have an idea of how to get started on this and you can do one through six. My hint to you for number 10, okay? It says the area of a parallelogram is 375 centimeters squared. So the area of a parallelogram is base times height. They told me the area is 375. So I replaced 375 for the area. And then they told me the base is 25. I don't know the height. How do you think you would find the height? 25 times what is 375? That's my hint to you for number 10. You can kind of follow that same logic for number nine. And then for number eight, don't forget to read it carefully and write out your work, okay? Good luck, my little mathematicians. You're going to do awesome.